Did you miss the OWC doc unboxing? This is what Marty T asks. No, you have not. Thank you for tuning in live. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate you just following right here on Twitch. Try to have these shows every night at 6 p.m. Uh, I have been talking about upgrading a lot of my equipment around here, specifically in relation to what I am doing on Twitch in, in video production. And part of that has been upgrading uh, visuals. I'm getting there. Part of that has been upgrading lighting. It's probably still needing to be improved, but I'm doing the best I can, not being production-minded, not that kind of a geek. Uh, audio is continuing to be tweaked. Con is, uh, it continues to be tweaked. Is that fair? Not going to go back and edit that, because you can't when it's live on the internet. Part of the prospect is moving the live stream from an older Mac, an Intel Mac from 2014, which is as old as my daughter, right, right, right around there. It's a, uh, right, pretty much as old as my daughter. Uh, almost seven years old. That's old for a computer, but it's it stood the test of time until I got to this point where I needed it. Uh, to do more things than it was able to do. Computers, of course, have become faster over that time, but I never saw a compelling need to upgrade. Oh, yeah, I could shave a minute off of rendering time? Absolutely. But that wasn't compelling enough. Is it fast? Yes. Is it that much faster? I don't know. I mean, web browsing, how fast can I go? So a lot of the hardware cycles I've skipped, but when I started streaming live on Twitch every day I, I i realized i'm bringing the system to its knees especially with the lack of uh, hardware encoding specifically on this particular machine or the, the the machines that i have so you might remember last year i was using an intel nook uh, a, 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 a computer a pc that has made me happy by all measurements as far as a pc could make me happy uh it's small it's out of the way and it's powerful enough to do what i need it to do and it, there's probably going to become uh, a time, it, there will probably come a time, eh? editing on the fly, it's like a live Google Docs. Uh, <coughs> what I need is a cough button. I need a cough switch. That's, that's the next thing I need. That was real, that was legit. I had, I got choked up talking about this stuff. Uh, so... The Intel PC is fully capable of handling live video, specifically the type of video I might be pushing out, 1080p, 30fps, possibly 60 frames per second. We shall see. Don't know how that's going to work out yet. And so I started to reconfigure and reaccommodate and realized, you know, I could probably put the Nook up here, which is not where it was before. But to do that, uh, would it be best for me to use the same monitors to connect to it a different way? I don't know exactly. Uh, so I basically uh, am thinking about putting the two screens here, connecting the Nook, and, and then you know going from there, including potentially upgrading these other machines. The problem is any new machine I might get is going to be limited on ports. That's a problem because there is going to come a time where I need to expand. And so I'm being very careful about what I plug into where. Like, do I need this here? Do I need to plug it in? Do I need this here? What do I need to do? How many ports might I need to effectively accommodate the setup? So I'll need one USB uh, port open specifically for the camera as it sits in this general area. Not a biggie. Uh, I will also need uh, to uh, have um, the microphone attached, which, for whatever it's worth, is USB, a, a Type A connector. It's, it doesn't need that much. Uh, and then uh, there, there's some other things that I need to, to plug in, like a high-speed SSD external drive, so that when I'm recording in OBS, I can effectively dump directly to the external drive, which has higher capacity of storage than the Nook itself. So I'm thinking, well, there's going to come a time where I'm going to run out of ports. So I was trying to think ahead. 
Well, a few weeks ago, uh, a rep from OWC had reached out and said, you know, these are the new things that we launched today. And I, 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 I looked at them differently last year than I do now. <laughs> because in, in one of the announcements, uh, I was told about this. A Thunderbolt 3 dock. Now, I have to say two things. One, this was sent to me. They sent this to me. Two, Thunderbolt, of course, is a technology being developed at Intel. Uh, the two are completely disconnected uh, from each other. Uh, this isn't necessarily a sponsorship. It's just, it's it's a product. Uh, and, and it's a product that I intend on using. So I'm very happy to be able to uh, have the opportunity to use this. And part of the prospect was, well, let's see about unboxing this right here on the live stream. So you did not missed the live unboxing here uh now i realize that i'm not exactly situated to do this perfectly but i i, I will show you a close-up here in just a second and and we're going to take it out of the box of course just going to give you a high level overview it looks nice it looks like really like it will just blend in like gray white black gray and black i'm, I'm very happy with so we've got uh, a micro sd card slot a uh, traditional sd card slot headphone jack uh, there's a connect and charge your devices, uh, like a port USB 3.2 Gen 1. There's also a USB 3.2 Gen 2, a high-speed USB up front. I mean, it's a port, uh, or it's a, it's, a, it's a hub, so it could be front, back, side, whatever. Uh, on the back, we've got higher power devices, USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A slots. There's also a high-powered port here, just average accessory ports here. Digital audio output, so we've got an optical uh, in jack. And what I love about this is, oh, I'm sorry, it's an out. So um, I may be able to still continue to use uh, my uh, speakers, which is great because I, I've, I, 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 I have these speakers that, that use optical. So I'll be able to, to use this dock uh, to effectively continue to use those, especially with devices that don't have a headphone jack or don't have an optical in. The Nook does, but what I'm saying is that as I continue to expand, this may be uh, just as suitable for another machine that I add into the mix. We've also got the ability to daisy chain additional devices, Thunderbolt 3, USB-C display right here, and uh, connect and charge like a notebook computer here. There's also a, uh, it's a you can connect your TV up here uh, or something with a 4K at 60 hertz display. So like, a, I guess with that, yeah, DisplayPort++, plus plus, and then, of course, the uh, the AC in. Are we getting all plugged into the Matrix? We are. Now, I am going to open it. Oh, nice. We've got some instructions here. Th this is going to come in handy because, I tell you, I get so confused with all the ports. I, I do. I really do because there are so many. It's like when I go to plug something in, I want to make sure I plug it into the right port because, okay, for example... Like, why would I plug the camera into a high-speed port when it's never going to hit that ceiling, right? You, you don't want to, like, you know, give it more than it needs because that port could go to another device that may need that particular, uh, even more power. So it's, it's nice to see that. Ooh, you know what? Huh. Okay, cardboard. I, I'm saying, huh, because the box, it's, it's, it's pretty heavy. And the reason why, I'm not joking. So, the external brick, it's nice to have. And the reason why that is the case is because the unit itself, the hub itself, ah, says, please remove plastic film. That's important. Uh, which I will do. I'm not going to do that right now. But the brick itself seems to weigh as much, the, 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 the power adapter seems to weigh just about as much as, no, more. This is heavier than the actual hub, which is interesting. Uh, and the way that I've got the, the room set up here specifically is to accommodate uh, the hubs on the desk but the power bricks, these things, these giant things, these giant heavy things, I plan on putting behind the desk. And so, uh, that's nice. I like that. I'm very happy about that. Uh, keeps the, 
weight down here, potentially the heat down on this side of the things. Uh, and then of course this gets, is going to slide off the back. Um, yeah, this is definitely going to get used and used very well. Uh, that also comes with a cable right here. So this is a Thunderbolt three cable. And it should have a little lightning on it, maybe. Yep, there's a little lightning right there. Look at that. Can you see it? That's how you know. Thunderbolt cable. Yay. Can't have too many of those. Uh, that's certainly what I'd be using to uh, better connect, um, uh, uh, you know, the hub uh, to specifically to the, the, the external uh, computer. So here it is. This is what it looks like. Sleek. Stylish. I would say, for what it is, svelte. Uh, you know, y y your footprint can only be so much, especially when desk space is at a premium. Uh, what's interesting about this, I mean, it shouldn't matter what the orientation happens to be, so I could even have it, like, uh, up against the, the back of the, uh, um, well, I guess, what would you call it, the, the barrier, right? So it could be, like, right up against it and, and be fine. Like, it's not going to fall over. Granted, it's got feet, it's got rubber feet on the bottom, so that's probably how it was meant to be used, I'm sure, but uh, yeah, for sure. This is, uh, it's got every port I might need on here. The only thing I would hope for is more ports. If finding a hub that's got all the ports, man, that uh, that would be a dream come true. Like even more, give me more. Give me twice as much as I have in this. That's twice as much, twice as fast. So if you're looking for an easy way of upgrading a system, whether you're talking about a desktop, a notebook computer, something that, that's small, something that's large, you may consider going the route of a hub, a self, uh, self power in the sense that you plug it in separately. Uh, but this one is, uh, is definitely going to get some use, some heavy use. Is it a one gigabit LAN port? It is right there. And just to confirm, it, I, I, I have not seen uh, a, a, anything less than a gigabit port on anything in the past few years. Yep, gigabit Ethernet. Not that you know, I'm even close to being able to tap that with a lot of the network stuff. Uh, but uh, either way, they've labeled every particular port uh, in, in, a, in a very clear way, and I appreciate that. Uh, some people may not like that level of detail, but uh, it's great for when I don't have a guide with me. I'm like, okay, I'm looking for uh, type A, and it just, just needs to be a port. I need to plug it in. I'd be able to jump in right there versus a high-powered port that uh, you know I needed immediately. High-powered port here, high-powered port here, uh, USB 3.1 for not uh, like a non-Thunderbolt uh, to, uh, to USB-Cs. Right. Well, sorry, Thunderbolt, which is like a USB-C looking cable feel and cable, but you got to look for the little Thunderbolt logo. I am not a Thunderbolt expert, nor am I a hub expert, nor am I a computer expert, nor am I a tech expert. I'm just someone who knows he needed this. And this gives me room to breathe, room to grow, and to scale into a better uh, type of uh, flow here, uh, a, a better... Uh, a better way to work and so i appreciate uh, owc for passing this along they've got a lot to offer uh and i, I gotta tell you I, I might start drooling if I, I look too deeply at their catalog they also sell cables they sell hubs they sell external drives or external enclosures basically uh, they've even got a series of like upgrades like they'll they'll, they'll help you do upgrades for your systems and, and they've specialized in uh, apple products uh, in the past. This, by the way, this hub is compatible with both Windows and uh, Mac OS. So Mac and PC here. Um, yeah, it's this is, it, I gotta admit, you know, I, I hope that it, this is going to work the way I believe it's going to work. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. I'm doing some upgrades. And, 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 and scaling into a better place for me to get the things done that I need to get done. Part of what I need to get done is my average day to day. Doesn't need much. I could keep do, I could keep using what I'm using now if it was just average day to day. Where this type of uh, product comes in handy is when I'm thinking beyond what I might need for just myself 
thinking more like, what does the stream need? What does that require me to do? Lights, camera, action. Isn't this how you make a muscle? Is, that, is it working? Do I have a muscle yet? 